Here you are today at Kepler Hyundai looking at a 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe. Gonna first come down here, check out these tires, looking for trade here. Gonna continue around the rest of this Santa Fe, looking for any major scratches, scrapes, dings, anything like that that may stand out as we're going around here. Everything is looking good for the most part. We do see some small scuffing here at the bottom bumper there. This is gonna be a limited all wheel drive. We're gonna have nice alloy wheels down there for you. Nice rain, rain guards also. Just gonna back out now and check out your interior. Starting on your driver's side here, you first gonna see you're gonna have fully powered locks and windows. You will have about two presets here for your seats. Your seats will be fully powered here. As you can see, you will have a nice gray leather interior here for your seats. You can come in here, check out your mileage and see you're gonna have 63, eight, two, three on the dash. Nice digital display there for you. You can come over here, look at your display area and see that this is gonna be where you see your backup camera displayed. Everything up here is touch screen. You will have AM, FM and satellite radio here for you. Bluetooth and CD are also provided here for you as well. Climate controls are gonna be just below. And right under that, you will see that you're gonna have two additional power ports along with USB and auxiliary. Before you back all the way out, you can see down here that you're gonna have heated and cooled seats along with some parking assist as well. Coming into your back seat here, first gonna start off by showing you that you are gonna have a nice shade here for your back seat passengers. You're also gonna have some heated seats back here as well. And come in here, check out these seats. See that everything does look good. You're not really gonna see any stains, tears, anything like that as we're going through here. Nice clean floors down here for you also. You will be able to see that you're gonna have an additional power port back here as well. Coming to your cargo area back here, you're gonna have some pretty good space. You will see original mats back here also. You will see this shade here. It's not put up, but you do have it here for whatever purpose needed. You can also release these seats down. As you can see, to get a full cargo space back here, these seats also go down as well. Coming into your back seat here once again, just gonna give you a nice view here from another angle over here on this passenger side. Everything does look good. Once again, you do see that you do have a nice pathway there to get back to that third row. If not there, you can come down here, lift this up. Your seat will come down and you can come back and check out your third row. As you look back here, everything does look good. Not really gonna see many flaws. You might see a couple scratches over there. You do have climate for your back seat passengers. Also, along with a little bit of climate control, pretty good space also back there for the third row. Finishing things up here on the passenger side, you can look down here and see that you're gonna have fully powered seats over here as well. You will see that you're gonna have a very nice clean passenger seat over here. You can look up and see that you're gonna have a sunroof shade that goes all the way back there to the back. The sunroof is provided though. You can also look back here, just gonna give you a nice driver's eye view. Nice look around before you back out of here. As we've gone through here, everything has to look nice and very well kept up in here, very nice features. And as we're backing out of here, this is gonna wrap up. I'll walk around.